everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a new Euro Rack module, or rather two of them, which are on the top here. It's the Analog Systems Polyphonic Harmonic Generator and the Expander module that goes with it. Uh, these are models RS370 and RS375. So, as a polyphonic synthesizer, these will allow you to perform um, multiple notes at the same time from your uh, MIDI keyboard, which we have plugged in here. Um, we have a MIDI keyboard plugged into the MIDI input, and uh, I suppose the first thing we'll do is just sort of give you an overview of what all of these different uh, ports are and controls. So starting uh, obviously in the top left here, we've got a MIDI in port for your uh, MIDI source. And then we also have a MIDI through port next to that or below that, um, which will carry the MIDI signal through to another part of your synth. Um, I have another MIDI to control voltage a converter over here, which we could potentially run in tandem with that. Uh, next to that, we have the menu display, which can be navigated through these two controls. Very simple system. Uh, you can scroll up and down with this pot here and if you want to select something in the menu you just push it and if you want to go back you simply hit cancel back to the main menu. We also have um, a row of voice outputs and in uh, its default setting the voices will come out uh, from voice one here which we have coming out. We have a number of different control inputs to control, put in uh, modulation sources to control different aspects of harmonic, things like harmonics or LFOs or arpeggiators and all sorts of different things. Um, so there are eight control ins. One of them is simply a, a potentiometer that's up here. And then we have seven more. Um, there are four inputs on the RS370, and on the expander you have an additional four to work with on there. There are also control out ports, which are, there are four on this unit, and on the expander there are an additional four. There are control voltage ports as well, which uh, can be used uh, for modulating other aspects of the sound. You can have a sequencer um, control voltage source going into there and control uh, different aspects um, and uh, of the sound. And below that you have your trigger ports and clocks. Uh, for example, if you wanted to run, uh, there, there is a built-in envelope in here, but if you wanted to use an external envelope, you could uh, send some trigger out signals to an external envelope source and uh, and control it like that. Uh, the thing about all this is, is while these simply are look like just uh, ports to input and output, pretty much every one of these can be programmed inside the unit and uh, can, for example, you can have uh, out of the eight different control inputs, you can have eight different aspects of the synthesizer modulated individually individually and you do that by going through the menu to um, to program how each of those will function and interact with other parts of your synthesizer so it's a uh, it's just once you get beneath the surface and you understand how everything works beneath the surface of this it's pretty incredible what kinds of things you can do with that synthesizer so I guess we'll just jump into in its most basic form, what this synthesizer do after you sort of plug it in and and get it going. So we've got a patch called Saturn programmed in here from the uh, standard set of patches inside of it, and we'll just so obviously it's a nice sounding polyphonic synthesizer, but the real beauty in this is being able to manipulate things inside of it. So I'm going to uh, show you what happens when you start to play around with 
some of the control imports. So if we go into uh, the synthesizer menu and we go into the control in menu, this will allow you to program what each of these control ins imports does. So the control in one has already been programmed to control the LFO speed. There are two LFOs built in here. We're controlling the speed of LFO one. And oops. So we got a little bit of a wavy pattern going on there. And if we speed it up, you can hear that you can hear the LFO controlling. It sounds like amplitude of one of the voices. Let's slow that down a bit. Um, if we shift over to control in two, um, this one's been programmed to control the harmonic wave morph. Now, just to show you if you wanted to change that, you just push the uh, edit knob here and you can cycle through different things that you could have that port controlled LFO, the speed of LFO2. You can have it control arpeggiator speed, or in this case, we're going to use the harmonic wave morph. And if I plug in a source, we're going to plug in, uh, we've got a sequencer running a four step pattern here. And we're going to put uh, quantize control voltage into control port two. And see what that sounds like. Add a little more interest. And we've got another source of uh, random control voltages coming from the chaos computer. We're going to put that into control in three. And if we go into control three, that's going to change the course pitch. Interesting, eh? So there's some basic functions of uh, illustrations of how some of the aspects of this synth works. For the next video, we're going to look at how to use the expander with this module and explore some of the other modes. So if we go into um, um, the menu here, Maybe, maybe what I'll do right now is uh, just sort of jump back and show you what, what all the menu options are. So we've got uh, copy from memory, which is loading up the presets of all the patches. There is a synthesizer menu to control different aspects of the synth, your LFO, arpeggiator, um, memories, MIDI to CV conversion. There's a lot of interesting things you can do with that. Uh, MIDI options and special options, which are things to upgrade the firmware and monitor things, uh, signals that are coming in or going out of your synth. In the synthesizer menu, which is probably the one you'll find out you'll be using the most, you can uh, change things like the envelope, what that coming out of the voice outputs, uh, you can control, change your control ins, which is what we've been doing with these two modulation sources. You can uh, program things for your MIDI controller to do, like what the um, modulation wheel does or the pitch wheel, and that can be programmed to change different things in the sound, and your what your expander is doing, and the mode. Um, probably the most important one here is what mode you're working in, because that determines a lot of what comes out of it. The default setting is the polyphonic mode, which we are in now. And if you want to use the expander here, you've got to be in either polyphonic analog or in analog real-time mode. And we'll cover that off in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this and has given you a little more knowledge of this unit. And we'll talk to you uh, again soon.